My name is Donna Poiron. My mother was Sis Davis. My mother was killed by an illegal alien drunk driver, Arturo Guzman Jimenez, on November 13, 2018. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, had wanted to deport Arturo Guzman Jimenez for years, and he had several drunk driving arrests on his records on the day he struck and killed my mother. He hit my mother so hard, he broke her back, both legs, one arm, her wrist, severed her aorta and her spine. But for unknown reasons, this person slipped through the cracks of ice and was never deported. Had Mr. Guzman Jimenez been deported, my mother would be alive this Christmas, 2019. The needless killing of my mother shattered me personally. My entire family entered a nightmare of legal proceedings which caused untold harm to us, including the loss of our home, most of our estate, along with the life of my dear mother. We had to sell a family home that was built by my grandparents with 60 years worth of possessions. It was unbelievably difficult to empty and decide which we could keep and which we could not. There was no money to be had because Mr. Guzman had no insurance, let alone no license. Perhaps worst is the ongoing lack of care and concern from elected officials about the terrible harm caused to my family by this preventable tragedy. The DA's office made a plea deal with the defendant. The family had no say. We would have liked to have seen some charges be brought against his wife who knowingly gave him the keys to her vehicle. He was unlicensed and uninsured, so therefore there was no one really to hold accountable as he was in jail. In the months after my mother's killing, the only significant attention was paid by J.D. Mullane, a columnist for the Bucks County Courier Times, who reached out to us and published an investigative article about my mother's case in June of 2019. We were and are so very grateful to Mr. Mullane for daring to shed light on my mother's tragic death in the news media, which is the only news media who bothered to cover her story. In particular, I will never forget the silence of Congressman Brian Fitzpatrick in the wake of my mother's untimely killing. I reached out to Brian Fitzpatrick's office numerous times, never received a return call. I tried to get on to his town call meeting. I was on once, and they said they were out of time. In November 2019, I was contacted by Andy Meehan for Congress campaign, who proposed a Sis Davis Memorial event hosted and paid for by the campaign volunteers. My family and I were thankful for the attempt to remember my mother on the anniversary of her death. But to be honest, we were skeptical that Mr. Meehan's congressional campaign may be more focused on their campaign than my mother. Myself, my daughter, extended family, and friends of my mother, Sis Davis, attended the Sis Davis Memorial held by Andy Meehan for Congress on Saturday, November 16, 2019. The Meehan campaign arranged for the location, room, food, invitations, and awareness on social media. Journalist J.D. Mullane also attended, which was wonderful, as well as dozens of Sis Davis's family, friends, and local folks whose lives had been harmed by sanctuary policies. I spoke from the heart about my mother and answered dozens of questions from Mr. Meehan and others. The focus was respectful, and the testimony from me, my family, and others was helpful and healing. To quote my daughter, Christy Poiron, Honestly, I thought the event might be some PR stunt or there was a hidden agenda, but I was pleasantly surprised. It's obvious you really do care, and if you ever need a testimonial or statement from me or our family, please feel free to ask. For all these reasons, the Poiron family gives its strongest endorsement to Andy Meehan, Republican for Congress in PA District 1. Brian Fitzpatrick never contacted us, never listened to us, and really didn't give a damn about my mother's preventable death. Andy Meehan cared enough to reach out to focus on my family and to bring us together to give a voice to people harmed and killed by policies that allow illegal immigrants to commit major crimes and remain in the shadows. Andy Meehan gave a damn about my mom, Sis Davis, and my family, and I believe that is what is needed now, more than ever, right here in our home. I really do believe that we do need somebody who's not a stuffed shirt, a down-to-earth, wonderful local person to take over Brian Fitzpatrick's place. The Poiron family supports Andy Meehan for Congress, and I bet my mother, Sis Davis, would support him too, if only she could. Hi, this is Andy Meehan, 
And in case you haven't heard, I am doing something extremely difficult, but absolutely necessary. I'm a conservative challenging Congressman Brian Fitzpatrick in the Republican primary. On the issues, the Congressman and I are worlds apart. Fitzpatrick voted in favor of amnesty for illegal aliens and against securing the border, while I'll oppose any amnesty and make sure the wall is funded. He supports gun bans and unconstitutional red flag laws, while I stand with our gun owners, our Second Amendment rights, and our right to due process. He voted to give a legal right to biological men to access women-only spaces and to compete against them for college athletic scholarships. I believe that women deserve women-only safe spaces in our society and fair competition in sports. He's voted for carbon taxes and the Paris Climate Accords, while I've put in writing my pledge of no new taxes. And Fitzpatrick has consistently supported endless wars in the Middle East. I'll vote to bring our troops home. Some establishment leaders in the Republican Party believe that you are obligated to endorse Congressman Fitzpatrick out of party loyalty. However, he isn't worthy of that loyalty as he has not demonstrated it himself. He voted against President Trump in 2016. He has not committed to supporting the president in 2020. And he voted with Nancy Pelosi to label the president a racist just this past July. He does not stand up for the president or our Republican values. I, on the other hand, as the nominee, will do both. But I need your help. Please go to Meehan2020.com slash contribute to help me raise the money to win this race. And please also hit the share button to share it with your friends and family so they can see how important this is and they can support me too. This is Andy Meehan, and I approve this message.